Howdy folks. Today's uh, got a shaving cream today. This is original Shave Company's uh, shaving cream. This one here is a six ounce variety and it also is, it comes by the way of England. Uh, there it goes right there. Made in England. Six ounces in this particular container. It is a fresh clean scent. That's what it looks like there on the inside and yes it is very soft. It is a cream and it smells it does smell very pleasant six ounces and this will run you um if i remember correctly right about 15 bucks for six ounces not too bad i have it whipped up here in my little wooden bowl here that's what it looks like there on the inside got it whipped up with a simpson brush berkeley and there you see best badger 46 i think the bees uh nomenclature on this one here but it, it's uh it's medium going into maybe strong for some folks my nose don't have a problem picking it up smells nice and it took no time to whip it up and also it does not take a whole lot of water to whip it up to look something like this right here which is it's fairly well hydrated it's not drippy just yet i stopped just short of that and um decided to follow it up with uh an aftershave that I don't think is available anymore. The, the aftershave or the shaving cream, at least through Italian Barber and it's Razor Rocks Al Sapone. I thought this one here would play pretty nice with the, with the scent. Um, I've had this one here for a while, as you probably could imagine. Shaver of the day. Um, <clears throat> this one here is above the tie, Windsor Pro. As you can tell, it's rather stately looking, bright, shiny. This one here has... Um, I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not. There's, it says above the time, SB90, as it goes for our standard base 90, and it looks really nice. It is a nice looking shaver. I have a lattice uh, blade in there. It'll be the second use today. And I've already put a hot towel to the face this morning, so we'll go ahead and get started with the face and get uh, the pre-shave cube from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement. This one here is the ice cube. What's left of it? I'm looking over there because that's where it's at. I'm about ready to grab it. <laughs> but uh, it is getting smaller. Started out being 8 ounces and it is nowhere near 8 ounces now. <laughs> Not even close, is it? Today being Friday, we did make it to Friday. Hopefully everybody's doing well. Last weekend was uh, the holiday weekend for Labor Day, and uh, I guess you might say I was looking forward to having another one of those this weekend, huh? <laughs> that would have been nice to have another three-day weekend, but uh, yesterday being somewhat eventful, if you will, the passing of Queen Elizabeth, and it just happened to be that I already had this shave set up for today. Yesterday, off camera, did another shave with the Parker 78R, trying to get those numbers straight. <laughs> and anyway, uh, with the uh, Parker Platinum blade and just fantastic, smooth shave. Just can't say enough about it. I, uh, there for a while, uh, Parker uh, Semi Slamp, Thought was probably the best razor as it goes for non adjustable that they had, you know, had the way of DE blades. And thought that the Parker or Semi Slant was uh, the best that they had available. Uh, boy, howdy, I don't know. This one here, the 78R, is uh, it's a pretty smooth shaver. One of these days here, pretty soon, I'll probably have to do another video or throw a feather blade in it and see how it works. But it is a really nice shaver. And I tell you what, uh, I think it's what? Parker 78 R is what? 26 bucks? $30 mark, somewhere right in there. It'll give a lot of razors a good run for their money. This one here, if you like to purchase a rather stately <laughs> looking razor, it is a fantastic razor. I don't know how this will turn out on the camera, but boy, it does look nice. Feels great in the hand. Has a considerable amount of weight behind it. I think they refer to the handle as Kronos. 
um, if that matters to anybody, because they do have different handles uh, throughout their lineup. They have some pretty nice product, products that's above the tie. This does feel like it's going to last you a lifetime. It feels really good in the hands. I started out my very first above the tie. Eclipso Blue. I guess you might see the aluminum, aluminum version of this one here. Uh, with a, uh, I can't remember what the name of the handle is. Different handle what this one here is. Nice shaver. I do enjoy these. These are, like I say, these are, feel very, they look stately and they feel stately in your hand. Something that's going to last a good long while. Do like the, I like shine, you know, it's just one of those things, face it. For me, I do enjoy the, the bright and shiny. <laughs> Most people do. But I saw the blue, Clipso blue, aluminum, and uh, thought, you know, I should pick that one up first. And I did. Then this one here came second. I've had this one here for a while. I do like the colors, but I also like the bright and shiny. All right, first pass. Even second use on the blade still feels like the first. Really easy to shave with, in my opinion. This blade works well with this razor. At least for me it does. I have a few hundred of these blades, but I'm thinking sometime in the near future I might need to pick up a few more. I'll keep my eye open for a, a good sale, good price on them. I think I'll pick up a few more of them. Really nice, smooth, pleasant shave. The shaving cream is doing quite well. In other words, if you're wondering if it's slick enough, uh, does it provide enough protection? It feels like it at the moment. I mean, it, it is plenty slick enough. I have no complaints about that. The blade feels good on the face. It's a very smooth, comfortable shave. So in other words, it's uh, not disappointing by any means about the performance of the shaving cream. I have one more Virgin Island of uh, made by it's another shaving cream in other words it will find out how if it still seems like the same base does it perform the same way but boy this does feel good it smells great all right now I guess the green pass Allen block is going to be the one that's going to tell us the <laughs> true results. How much stinging is, is what I usually go by. I think the blade's quite all right. Some blades after the second use is when I really notice a difference. Some blades, not all of them. But usually, if it's not a one and done, usually after the second use I go ahead and Replace it with a fresh blade. It's just my habit, I guess you might say. But unless I'm spending about a week with the, uh, in other words, if I'm using a feather blade, I'll push it further than three. I've been able to get more than three and get smooth, comfortable shades with it. So I know what I can do with a feather blade. But they're also somewhat more expensive. <laughs> they're not known to be cheap blades. <laughs> Inexpensive blades probably be a better way of putting it. In other words, it's not they're cheap in the way that they're made. They're well-made blades. Day's Friday. I sure have, I've been looking forward to today. I said I enjoyed the three-day weekend. Could have used another one.
Face feels really good. Shave, efficient, close, smooth. I uh, don't think I'm going to have a whole lot of stinging. Don't feel anything in particular that's, uh, in other words, well, like I know there's going to be a spot. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. <laughs> Throughout the shave, like I know that spot right there is going to sting when I get to the outer block. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, no blade this morning, I mean no rubber band this morning. This is the same spot that I had the other day, and it's, it's, it's just a little bit, it stings just a little bit, and then nothing, you know, like eye-opening, like, whoa, <laughs> nothing quite like that. Yep, pretty much as I expected. It was nice, smooth, clean, comfortable shave. Humphrey's Witch Hazel. It is getting a little bit on the shallow side. This one here is unscented. I failed to mention in the last video that uh, TJ Maxx found a, uh, another bottle of Thayer's Witch Hazel Lemon Scented. I don't think lemon is made anymore. I do know it's difficult to find. <laughs> I can find all kinds of other flavors, but lemon is not the easiest one to find. So I've been picking up the lemon as I see it because I think it's no longer in production. So um, at least I got some Thayer's le lemon. Al Sapone. This is a pretty nice scent. To me, I thought it would play really well. It's, it goes along the same the same theme in my opinion but it, it does have a slightly different scent to it it does smell good though if you want this i think you're probably going to, have to go buy sell trade or another website that sells uh razor rock products i think sometimes grumatorium you can find that something like this that they still may have in stock Good stuff here. Had a great shave today. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay healthy, stay safe, and smooth shaves to you on this Friday.